In the United States, there are about 10 million dairy cows. When livestock digest their food, because it's really fibrous, they have to break it down through fermentation. And as a result of that process, they produce a greenhouse gas called methane. Methane is 28 times more effective at warming than carbon dioxide and could potentially be disastrous if it wasn't controlled. At Symbrosia, we utilize novel research that has shown when you implement a specific species of seaweed into their diet as a feed supplement, you can reduce their methane emissions by over 80%. I studied chemistry at New York University for my undergrad and was on the pre-medical pathway like most people in sciences. And so I was doing environmental health research during my master's and came across this seaweed species in some literature that had really promising potential and thought that it was way cooler and impactful of a project than becoming a doctor potentially. And so I really shifted gears and put all of my energy into this project instead. We applied for a program based in Kona and we got accepted. There was a lot of aquaculture activity out here because the water is really clean and the facility that we're located in is really set up for young businesses to experiment and then scale and really come to fruition. The species of seaweed that we're growing is called Asparagopsis taxiformis but in Hawaiian culture, it's called limu kohu, which means the supreme seaweed. It was only available in the wild and had never been commercially grown before. And so we've spent the last three years developing cultivation methods that are scalable and reliable. Initially, our team snorkeled the Hawaiian coastline and brought in really small amounts of algae to build our seed bank. We've since developed that seed bank to have a really robust source of seaweed so that we don't have to harvest from the natural environment anymore. From there, we isolate a few cells of the plant for propagation and remove any sort of foreign algae or oceanic species from the seaweed to make sure that we have clean cultures. From there, they start to basically populate really quickly until we get to a harvesting point. We currently freeze dry the product into a uniform pellet that then is packaged and delivered to ranches or dairy farms to be incorporated into the feed. Our final product is called Sea Graze. It can be utilized in a dairy farm operation, a beef cattle or sheep and goats even, and it can be used in a controlled feeding setting or out in the field where cattle are grazing. The seaweed works in two ways. So first, one of the compounds within its structure inhibits methane formation. And then it has this probiotic effect too that allows for easier digestion. So there's this other factor that makes the seaweed really effective and actually viable. Our hope for Symbrosia is to have a million cows on sea graze in the next five years. And in the longer term, I see our solution being used very widely in creating massive methane reduction in the industry. And with that, we hope that the solution is working well for both the animals, the people that are taking care of them, and the environment. Being in Hawaii for an extended period of time, I've definitely gained a larger appreciation for the natural world in terms of the climates and the different species and nature that is here. And so I think it's been really healthy for our team to be out here as well working on this difficult solution. As a species, we have about 10 years to really put the pedal to the metal on curbing climate change. I really believe that Asparagopsis taxiformis is the seaweed that could save the planet. I'm Alexia Akbai, I'm the founder and CEO of Symbrosia.